Oh, hello. What's going on, everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, wow, that was so like family feud, yeah. What's going on, everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Tay. Nice to meet you. And if you have not yet subscribed, baby girl doing what are you doing what are you really what are you really doing but it's not too late it's not too late subscribe to my channel and be a part of my lovely fantabulous come on people that already know what it is say with me astronomically lit family as you can tell by the title i'm going to be showing you guys my hygiene routine ah, ah, yeah babes ah. Oh, my hand was actually like turning in this. That's why I was saying ah. all of this is gonna be in this video so if you want to know how i keep myself fresh yeah, girl. Ah, uh, 2021. Oh, keep watching this video. Hey, you're probably watching this video because y'all want to be nosy and see and, and, and see what I do in the shower, or uh, hear about what I do in the shower, or know how I do in the shower. But in today's video, as you can tell by the title, as I said before, I'm going to be showing you guys how I keep fresh, my little hygiene routine. So we're gonna start from when we first get in the shower to when we come out the shower. And so when we first go in the shower, babes, I just recently discovered, first of all, I knew the brand from like birth, but I just recently discovered this because I realized how sensitive my skin is. And I, of course I wanna smell good and Bath and Body Works, they do it, not no more. But it, it's time for me to grow up and like scents aren't everything. Keep that in mind. Because um, you love scents and then throw off your pH balance, then what? Ooh. So, um, for my Noni slash Coney, I use this Dove Sensitive Skin um, Beauty Bar. It is um, um, uh, hyperallergenic. <sighs> not hyperallergenic. That's what it say, right? Hi it's not. Uh, it's hyperallergenic and it's for sensitive skin, like I said. And it's non-scented. So, babe, cop this. I got this at Target. I got two in a pack. Yeah, it came two in a pack for $3. Like, cop this bar. Cop this bar. This bar is it. But I messed up because I bought the bar and then I went back. Well, same day. I seen it. And I'm like, baby. As Leah Williams got something something similar to this. But this is the sensitive skin hyperallergenic um body dove body wash. And it's number one dermatologist recommended. <laughs> but I honestly want to try this and when i say this is this this makes me feel like that if you know you know but it it, it leaves me so soft and i kid you not i'm not gonna lie to y'all in this video i'm tired i'm tired of people lying buying products that they don't know nothing about and then making y'all go buy it and then y'all skin just dry out and then y'all look like bamboo stick you know so anyways but yeah this this is this is this i started using this last week babe just here i need to calm down on it because but girl, how can I calm down? How can I calm down? Okay, I'm back. Hey, I'm back. So, of course, when you are showering, showering, you need something to shower with. So, usually I use a washcloth. I don't use loafers. Loafers don't do me. So, I use a washcloth or I use this babes when i tell you when you put this on here and you and you baby your skin baby's bottom softer than that and i tell this is like an exfoliate this is an exfoliator so you can either even put your scrubs on here <sighs> babes you gotta do your own self-care because take care of yourself that's all i'm gonna say this i got this two in a pack two in a pack for four dollars at was it four dollars 2.99 at one and only burlington that's all i'm gonna say that's all i'm gonna say we're gonna move on to our scrub Rubs. Rubs. Um, um, I'm trying not to use this anymore because it's almost done and it's not available at Target anymore. Um, but this is this, this is this is this is the Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub Moroccan Rose. And when I tell you the other scents don't do it for me, this one does. And I'm trying not to finish it because it smells so good and it leaves your body so soft. And I try not to exfoliate every day, but baby. No bueno, no bueno, pero. I don't say. Um, then next, I bought this for my sister for Christmas, but I also use it too. Um, it's the exfoliating body scrub, and this is, um, I think rose hip. It smells so good, and this, this, this smells really good. This smells really good. This just made me so mad because it smells really good. I used this one time, and of course it's not as good as the Tree Hut scrub, but like it still does its job, which is exfoliating, and it leaves you smelling like it doesn't leave you with this. You know when some people just bathe in perfume, it don't smell like that. It it just it just makes you you know smell calm, like you're laying on the beach just sipping the coconut water. That's what this feels like, basically. Let's just leave it like that. Um. 
Um, then afterward, hi babes, what else afterwards, ah. Afterward, what's afterwards? Like when you get out the shower, of course you use a towel, but like a towel is not really hygiene. Hey, hey, make sure y'all change that towel frequently, please. Um, don't wait two months to change your towel. Don't go a whole month with a, with one towel. Unless you have a dryer in your house and you just throw it in the dryer after every, um, wash, after every use, every use. Usually with my towel, instead of leaving it in the bathroom, I put it on my heater or like put it by my heater so it can heat up so it doesn't, I don't know how to say this in American, get moly. I don't know how to say it in American, but yeah. So when I come now, we're moving on to coming out of the shower. Um, so upon coming out of the shower, Hour. We have a few things we use like just depending on the day, but every day I use this on my face especially um, and this is the shea butter African shea butter baby and when I tell you me and my sister go through this we go through it and don't guys don't get the soft one from the from the beauty supply store make sure you get the hard one that look like this or harder those are the real ones like I said I put you guys on oh babe okay we're gonna do um I knew I was missing something but um we're gonna finish when we get out of shower then we're gonna go right back I forgot all about shaving and stuff but like, I don't do that every day. But I'm gonna still like, and you guys what I use. Okay, anyways. Oh, I put you guys onto this. I don't know how many of you got it. I don't know how many of you watched the video, my vlogmas. But this right here, the dry deodorant spray. So whenever I use stick, it causes like pain under my arm and rashes. So the stick dry spray deodorant, Secrets especially. I'm not using no other brand. Like, I'm sorry. It's Secret and Dove. That's the only brands I'm gonna use for when it comes to like sprays like this. But this smells so so good. I think this is cucumber. It smells so good. The only thing I don't like is of course aluminum, but like what can you do? The non-aluminum deodorant smells like caca. I make you walk around smelling like who done did it. You understand? Not for no. Not for no Next thing I use when I come out of the shower, I also use this Golden Honey Body Mist from Pink. Um, I spray it under my arm. I don't know why I do that, but like I just, it's just a habit. Like I just, <laughs> yes, sir, it smell good in the hood, understood. And then I also use this Bath and Body Works Pretty as a Peach um, Shea Body Cream. This smells really good. I also use this like as a hand lotion. I have, um, I think I have like a small bottle in my car. First of all, I have a Japanese cherry blossom in my car. I and it's a Japanese cherry blossom and I just keep refilling it with, with this lotion. Moral of the story is that. Okay, next we have... Oh yes, babe. So remember I told I showed you guys the exfoliating scrub? So we have the rose water and ivy body lotion like this. Look at the bottle. Let's acknowledge. Like, look at that. Expensive. Looks so expensive. Oh my goodness, you better calm down. I know that much. Yeah, but it smells so good. Like I said before with the rose body scrub, this just leaves you smelling like a woman. And I want to smell like that. I'm tired of smelling like a teenager. I'm not a teenager anymore. I'm going to be 21 and ah, I don't even say it. Ah. Responsibility. Don't do it, baby. Yeah, I'm not really into the Bath and Body Works body washes anymore, but the lotion, they still have my heart. They still have my heart. Oh, also, I haven't started using this yet. This is a body. I want to get more into body butters as well. This body butter, winter caramel, caramel. Uh, when I say it smells fire, my mother got me this for Christmas. Girl, I love caramel in a scent. I don't like. I don't really like Kaylee. I, I do love them yellow. Oh, that's butterscotch. Ah. This smells so good. Smell it. Oh, you might get a little high. I get high. I get high. I gotta put it back in my drawer before these people use it. Um. All right, babe. When it comes to shaving now, ah. Don't we all love it? I've been, you know, experiencing like different stuff. Everybody gets razor bumps, like who doesn't? Um, but we have to figure out what best for us and what goes well with our skin, whether it be waxing, shaving, or using a cream for hair removal. So I did purchase the well, it's not enough yet. It's just in like a little bag, but I did purchase this um Philips Norelco Norelco One Blade. <laughs> And it comes with a few different heads. I, I haven't used it a lot, but it's really good. It comes with, also comes with a little charger. Uh, but it comes with like different heads. So it comes with like this one. They also have a more inexpensive one. Like this was more on the expense. Okay. Yeah, it was more on the expensive side. It was more than $30. They have this one. The one for, the one with just one of these, like it only comes with like one. It's around $30. The more expensive one is close to $60. 
But I didn't pay 60 for it though. Uh, it comes with like different ones, like I said before. I haven't really used all of them yet. I'm still I'm still experimenting because you know this the this is definitely better than a razor. This one, this one takes all your hair oil. Yes, sir. And of course, they are reusable, and then you can change them whenever you want or whenever the blade gets um dull. But yeah. And I think I have like two. Oh, they have like they gave me replace, re replaceables too. Top tips to trim edge shades. Yes, babes. And last but not least is the hair removing cream. As you guys know, we all know near, near or far, no matter where you are, I'll be there. Um, this is the cocoa butter and vitamin E scent. Um, this actually works for me. Whether like it doesn't matter where the hair is, it works for me. Absolutely. I also have the Veep, but I never tried Veep before because it's not my Veep, but I. I can still try the Veep, but I don't want to mix two cream together. Like my skin already got used to this cream. So I don't want to mix another cream if that makes sense. As y'all know, hair removal cream stinks. So uh, that's how I smell. Oh, and I also have um like baby wipes. I keep baby wipes with me, like in my bag and in, in my car, like wherever. I make sure I keep baby wipes with me because you never know what can happen. Sometimes the tissue just doesn't do it. And that's just to keep yourself fresh. And also the baby wipes that I use are unscented. I don't use Summer's Eve. I don't use Vagicel. I use plain unscented white I when I tell you I'm very I'm very conscious about what I'm doing with my body I don't want to throw nothing off right now Especially because nobody got time to be running back and forth to no doctor because baby girl we don't have time for that. That is how overall that's how basically my hygiene routine is. I said I was gonna give you guys one like months ago when I did my feminine hygiene video. I think I was looking to refine it down, but it's fine. Um, when I did my feminine hygiene video and I also promised you guys a although you guys don't request it, I'm still gonna put it out there. I gotta deliver. I gotta. I gotta deliver for you guys. I gotta deliver content, babes. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Video. Um, let me guys, let me guys, let me guys know if you liked it because I enjoyed filming it and I will enjoy editing it. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you made it to this point, that means you made it to the end. Make sure you guys remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you will be notified anytime I, I, the baddie.com, post another video. And without further ado, babe, I'm tired. Without what time is it? Oh, baby. And without further ado, babe, bye.